I'm here with Fiona McGregor, um, a very accomplished Australian writer and performance artist. Um, and today we'll be discussing her books, Strange Museums, which is a travel memoir, and Indelible Ink, which is a novel. Hi, Fiona. Hi. So, firstly, I was just wondering with Indelible Ink, um, Marie King is a adorable, fascinating character. Um, she's a 59-year-old woman who's just gone through a divorce and she's living on the Lower North Shore in Sydney. Um, and she gets enamoured and hooked to the rush of getting tattooed. Um, was this based on a true story? Yeah, it was based on, it was almost like a piece of gossip, although it did happen. Um, a woman in the early 90s, uh, recently divorced, began to get tattooed and died a short amount of time afterwards. Um, but she had a lot more children than Marie. I think she had about seven children. And I'd only met her once, so it was a bit like basing a novel on a rumour. It seemed like I had a story, but actually I had to make it all up. Mm. And so much evolved. It's so, yeah. so amazingly evocative of, of Sydney, and it's so sort of rich with, with people and colours and yeah. space. Um, with her children, the children that you wrote into the novel, her adult children, Blanche, Clark and Leon, um, how, how did they emerge and were they always going to have such a prominent presence in the book? Yeah, uh, initially I actually had five children and... Well, that would have been huge. <laughs> that was, yeah, it was too much. So I condensed it down to three. I, I've never except for my first book, written something, I suppose my fourth book is carried by my voice, but written a piece of fiction that is carried by one character. I tend to work with webs of people. So those children were always going to have a strong voice. How do you find the process of writing characters that, whose politics might be quite incongruous to your own? Is that quite a difficult yeah, process? Yeah, it is. Um, it's, it's hard to predict, though, what sometimes it can be easy to slip into the skin of someone who's, who's really contrary to you because it's kind of thrilling and fun to, you know, cross over to the other side. And whereas it, creating somebody who is from a similar kind of background or mindset to you can, can be difficult because it's almost like it's too close and, or it's too boring for you to want to really immerse yourself. But also, I think, you know, in actual life, in a personal sense, I can be as judgmental as anyone and, you know, rail at the dinner table against this or that type of person. But when it comes to writing a novel, it's really an exercise in empathy. Mm -hmm. And so I have to sit down with these people year after year and I have to find my compassion and my understanding. And also because I'm a, I'm a reader as well. And what I like when I'm reading is, is a work that has a lot of space in it so that I can make up my own mind and I can form my own relationships. In as much as I can be seduced by really passionate, opinionated voices, and there are some writers like that who are, who are really pushing a particular vision and good writing can come from that and I can be seduced by it, but I also can be, can find it claustrophobic and didactic Mm. So I just find that I'm better at, and I'm also kind of better at creating a broad social canvas. And when you can create that much room for your character, they will be able to stand on their own two feet mm. more easily. So Strange Museums is a travel memoir of your time in Poland. Um, could you talk a bit about what you, were, what you were doing there? Yeah, I went on a performance art tour with my ex-partner and we had a company called Send Voodoo and we had a work that we'd developed and we couldn't get it um, exhibited or staged here anywhere. So we got one invitation to Poland and we built a tour around that one appearance and we travelled through the country for two and a half months presenting it as both a live work and a video installation and the two versions are connected. That's what the book is about, that journey. Yeah. You know, unfortunately you went through quite a traumatic sort of process of your, your mum passed away while you were writing Indelible Ink mm -hmm. and that's when you wrote Strange Museums. I'm, I was wondering if you could just talk a bit about that process and why you wrote Strange Museums. Well, I was in between drafts of 
in Delible Link and I'd gone away to Poland on this tour and so I knew that I was going to have a, a six month period between drafts and it's good to have a really long period between drafts on a big work life in Delible Link. Mind you, it wasn't as big at that stage, but when I came back, I was due to start work on it and my mother got sick, along actually with a very close friend and my brother-in-law, but my mother didn't recover. So that time just had to be given to, to the, sick, the sick and the dying. And of course, it then became hard to go back to a manuscript, which um, is about a mother who dies. We're going to spoil the plot a little bit here people haven't read the book but um, they should have read it. <laughs> anyway so but also just on a, a more pragmatic level away from that I did realize in rereading this manuscript that it needed a lot more work and that I couldn't just rush off a draft and send it out to be published which is what the plan was so all of those things are kind of and by then I'd, I was writing I was able to write those little essays those essays about Poland started in that period when when I was, you know, nursing sick people and they gradually started to join together. And mm. by the time I kind of was into uh, that period of grieving was over, I nearly had Strange Museum, so I wanted to finish it before I went back to Indelible Ink. In terms of my writing, I think I'm, yeah, I can't, I'm, I almost can't go into too much detail because then I give away what the next novel's about, but I'm just Tell interested, no, I'm interested in, <laughs> in, in exploring essays more and trying to limber up in, in an analytical sense, like in what I started to do with this to yeah. push that a bit further. Thank I, you, Fiona. Thank you.